you're a boy and you, you feel, oh man, I, I like girly things and cut your dick off and become a girl now. Oh, you're a girl and you and you like football? Then you're a boy now. Damn right, Connor. And anyone who disagrees with us is obviously a right-wing Nazi who thinks the Bible is a science book and should be fucking dead. What's up, right-wing? Anime hair looking gas mask CSGO looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a trip, Con. And Mr. K, or just K works fine. Rocking those dope-ass shades, I see. Well. I'm not one to be the odd man out. So what kind of hot garbage are we sifting through today? Today, we got a vid. It's a Kickstarter project. It's a... What is this thing? It's got like, Sam, the first educational transgender toy. Why? So now you got a toy now? Well, I can tell you that transgender people have lots of toys, but we digress. Saying like, G teaching children, Hey, you know that you think you're a boy? Well, guess what? You're not anymore because no one can be a boy anymore. You can only be the thing that you're the opposite of. Oh, that's a girl over there. Wrong. That's a man. May, may I? May I say, right wing? What's, what's with, are you, are you old or something? Cause, cause your hair is white. Okay. Was... Yeah, you could say, uh, go back pretty far. Have you ever been in a room where, you know, it's not black? Pretty dark where you are. Well, reason number one is the overhead is low. Not swimming in those Patreon Benjamins just yet. And the other reason, well, got to keep some sense of propriety here. Whatever, just start this damn thing. Hi, I'm Ollie, I'm 14 years old, and I'm a trans girl. So do you have a dick, or you still have the vagina, and you think you're a... I don't care. When Ollie was really young, she told us really early on that she felt like a girl. To start with, we thought it was just a phase, but then it was not. Ooh, tough to argue with that logic. Oh, so you're a dude, and now you're a female. See, I don't get this transgender stuff. I just walk outside and be all like, Oh, you smell that? I'm gonna be a female today. Because, like, what happened to, you know, actual, like, meaning and science to everything? It's like, oh, remember when gender was a thing? Well, now it's the opposite of what it is now. Remember when trans, transgender was just, just a thing in the background? Like, like, no one really... Care like, oh look, there was a trans person. Okay, okay, it's high trans person. And now it's like, oh my god! Tell everyone that they they have to be trans. And and if you and if you say no, you you rather be something that you actually are, then screw yourself. Why is it like this? I don't know why. We were concerned about the way our kid would be treated. So with the help of the family, you got him the help he so desperately needed for his gender dysphoria. Is the answer you should have gone with? Two percent through six percent of boys, five percent through twelve percent of girls. Of what? Identify or express their gender dif differently from their assigned sex at birth. Okay, so? So, are you saying that literally when, 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 the, when the baby comes out of the vagina and it's, and has a penis, it, it's a girl? You realize it's all by the mood, right? You get this person that's all happy and shit, he's all, he's happy all the time, but he doesn't go around and think to himself, Man, I'm happy all the time? May maybe I'm a girl! No! And 90% of them grow out of it by the time they turn 18. Or they receive counseling, you fucking garbage parents. There's that fucking word assigned as if to say, Our daughter was robbed of a good childhood because of some bigoted doctor who thought because of our baby has a penis, it must have been a boy, you fucking fascists. I was really lucky to have the support of my family and friends. Millions of kids around the world aren't so lucky. Yes. Yeah. Without support, gender-questioning children. The LGBT has it the worst. I mean, go, go to Islam. I mean, go, go there with it. Throwing gays off of buildings, stoning women for literally no reason of just to think that she's like a, a slut or something without any evidence whatsoever. And people are like, eh, the Quran says we could do it. Hey, who gives a shit? Just go and just... 
decapitate a guy, why not? Eh? Oh, oh, you sh oh, your your beard is different. I'm gonna cut. What the hell? What the hell? You you showed your left ankle. You better put that back on before before I spank you with barbed wire. I've actually seen that. Meanwhile, the LGBT whatever the heck. Man, I wonder if my dick says that I'm a female. But wait, if I say I'm a female, that means. That uh, then I'm a female, but I can't be female because I have no gender. I'm a non-binary boy. Doesn't make sense. And the chances of that get astronomically worse after they start going through hormone therapy and chopping their junk off. We knew we needed to do something to help other children like Oli. And by that, you mean perpetuate the problem. We knew we needed to teach children that it's okay to question your gender identity. <laughs> well, you can go around and be all like the children all like, Yo, Dad. Why do I have a dick? Well, son, there's a thing called genetics, right? And the thing about, you know, something about the X and the Y, I, I, I can't really understand. I'm not gonna go on the fucking wiki and wiki that shit because all I know is I can't read. You see, biology is a real thing, if you haven't noticed. You can't be all like, oh, what's... But if I'm a boy, what if I want to be a girl? Can I be a girl? And then the parents sh should reply with, Well, you see, it's just how you were created. It just happened. You see, biology works in its mysterious ways. You see, the X or the whatever the f- I can't explain it, son, it's just how it is. But Dad, what if I want a vagina with a dick? It's not how that works, son. You see, if we were in the Stone Age, and then next thing you know, you are like, Dad, I know it's Stone Age, but I want a vagina. You see, you can't do that. You can't be all like, oh, but all this stuff, you see, it's natural. This is natural for you to think like this. You'll get over it soon, but you're not gonna be all like, or you're actually, you know, it probably won't get over soon. You'll just have to be all like, you just have to go with the flow. Do you wanna know why? Because you were born this way. You were born this way. You're just a boy that has different emotions. That's what it is. You can't be all like, oh, f oh feelings and shit. Exactly, kids. Don't listen to these yuppie bitches. Just cause you once liked the color pink, watching My Little Pony, or cooking with an Easy Bake Oven doesn't mean the doctor who yanked you out of your mom's vagina is a sexist pig. Meet Sam, the world's first educational transgender toy. Oh great, it's a... It's a... It's a poppin' pill. Sam is designed to teach young children about what it means to grow up transgender. To be... Even more confused, depressed, and suicidal than ever before? By illustrating the emotions felt by many children who question- Oh look, a bunch of androgynous stacker dolls. As, as you see, kids, this is how trans people are born. You see, they don't come out of the vagina. It's a heart, and then it next, you know, turns it to a, to a baby. A baby. Then it turns it to a con construction worker, and it goes around, you know, like, man, I, I want to be a construction worker, but I, but I'm not a boy. I can't do that. How, how, I can't do that. I'm a female, and females can't be construction. Are you stupid or something? Children will have so much fun doing it. You know, do you know what I did when I was like five years old? There's this thing called Legos. You see, I'm just over there playing with the Legos, and then I'm building them instead of being like, oh man, look at this ball pill thing that I'm taking, and it's got smaller. It's somehow. Trans, man, education's fun, but do you know what else is funner? Doing something that's fun, how about that? In their gender identity, Sam encourages understanding and empathy through play. Each toy represents a common emotional step that many transgender children experience as they grow older. Happy? That's what Tumblr said the first phase is, right? We all know Tumblr is the go-to source for all knowledge on sex and gender. Exploring. Remember, it's wrong to assume gender roles, but if your daughter has an interest in masculine things like construction work and growing facial hair, it's a dead giveaway. Your daughter is a man. Oh, the lack of self-awareness. Questioning. Conflicted. Uh, you left out the part where your child got molested by your new boyfriend and you accused her of lying because she just wanted you to be unhappy. Hey, I'm just saying I've seen it happen. Isolated. You've converted to Satanism and you have an actual people to kill list with your classmates' names on it. 
and finally, supported. You've now gone completely off the reservation and now get all your advice from 50 plus year old men and butch dyke women. No longer straight. You're born, right? And the next thing you know, you come out of a job and you're all like, why? You just question things, but here's the thing. It's how the world works. It's how science works. If you deny science, you, you're you denying logic, basically. Can't be all like, oh man, look at this chair. You you wake up one morning and be all like, man, this, this chair. Why do we sit on chairs? Why do I do this? Why, why can't I, why, why can't I do this with a chair? Like, why can't, why can't I go to like, like, go to work, or go to school, and then sit in the chair like this. You see? It just can't happen. It's fucking stupid, that's what it is. Or, or, or saying like, oh, why do I have a tongue? Ah, well, it's a tongue that's for you to, so you can speak and shit. But it's like, oh wait, I, I don't want to have a tongue. I, 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 I believe I, I am tongueless. So you go to cut your tongue off, and you say you're tongueless, but you can't pronounce it because you don't have a tongue. Things work in mysterious ways, and things are also not meant to be. Like, for instance, it shows here that you, this girl is depressed because it's not a, doesn't have a dick. See, that doesn't make sense. You see, you're, you're what the, you, this person is what they're called, a female that has different emotions and also- Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. They're called a personality. Sam was designed in Montreal by Romeoi Fiss and Shed and will be manufactured out of toy-grade BPA-free PVC. Sam is 100% safe for children to play with. Oh, except for the part where it further confuses their gender dysphoria and 100% safe for adults to talk about openly. I can just imagine going to Toys R Us, and then next you know, they see this little kid go into the toys, I'll be all like, Oh my god, mom, can we please get this super transgender toy, and so I can learn how not to be a boy, and, and wear things that are absolutely not, has nothing to do with trans at all. Inside every Sam toy is a heart that represents the you inside. To further remind the parent of the life they threw away when they decided it was more important to be accepted by their hopelessly deluded, regressive friends. However a child chooses to express themselves on the outside, it's important to understand that it doesn't change who they are on the inside. Please help us bring Sam to life by pledging whatever you can. Actually, I think we know what you need. You need a damn microphone. You ever heard of a microphone up to your face? No? You never heard of it? Well, I can tell, because all I hear is reverb! Damn yeah, Connor. You know, speaking of investments, I'm kind of curious as to what an abomination like this will cost to bring to fruition. As of the date I took this screenshot, it'll apparently cost... $108,351 to make this happen? <laughs> Are you shitting in my mouth? For a big chunk of plastic that's about as complex as a Duplo? I think they're trying to skip as seen on TV and go straight to the big box stores. Either that or they're trying to get Kickstarters to foot the bill for their gambling debts. Gee, wonder what similar projects are asking for. How about the Algo Bricks? Basically teaches small toddlers how to build functioning robots and even learn encoding. God damn. That's actually pretty tight. I think I want one. But to bring this endeavor to the shelves, they only ask for 50k. A program to teach kids to build robots asks for less than half as much as the kooky libtard parents who want to build a stacker doll from PVC. How about Doe Universe Play-Doh that can carry an electrical current so it makes noises and shows kids how electricity works? Seems a little bit like a disaster waiting to happen, but also pretty fucking cool. Sign me up dot jpeg. Better than a tranny stacker doll any day. The price to make this happen? Another 50k. The Mudwat teach kids how to get electricity from mud in the apocalypse. It only takes about a week. Somewhat ill-conceived and just begging for a lawsuit, but still way cooler and more useful than cooking plastic stacker dolls together. Go green the fun way. It's cost 30,000. The more kids can play with Sam, the better. Every child can learn something new from Sam. And adults can too. Yes, you can confuse the shit out of your kids and deviate from centuries of studied science because feelings. And you can learn how to be cool around your equally regressive friends by having yourself a brainwashed child who thinks its gender is something other than, well, the one it was born with. Stopping transphobia before it starts. It doesn't exist.
Okay, there are some people that are like, Oh my god, it's a trans. Stay away from that, honey. It, it could catch you the diseases or some shit. Yes, there's a name for those people. They're called crazy people. Transphobia is a made up word so that when someone's all like tries to speak with you with science and stuff, they reply with, Oh, but it basically it's the race card without a race. It's the transphobia card, which someone says, Oh, look. It's a trans, but it doesn't know shit, and it's be all like, okay, I have a dick, but I'm a female. That's, and then you tell them that, and you explain them all science stuff, and then they start screaming at you, and, and then you, then they tell them, hey, you're just transphobic, faggot, and shit, and you go out and do a backflip, and then die, I don't know. What do you, th what are your thoughts of right wing? If this toy does hit the shelves, it should come with a warning label that says, may cause gender dysphoria. Kids are impressionable. If you flash all this nonsense around them, you could turn perfectly mentally healthy children into these gender dysphoric basket cases. Hey! That's about enough of that homophobic shit! What? If you throw this at young impressionable kids who don't have the capacity to understand things like gender and sex, you're far more likely to create gender dysphoria where there otherwise wouldn't be any. You fucking Nazi! This flash is about to get the smash! The only smashing is gonna be my diamond hard cock in your jaw, twat clock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> watching you two is like watching the gay porn version of the Benny Hill show. Back to you, Con. You have to think to yourself, will children play with something that doesn't look fun at all? You see little, you see little female kids be all playing with dolls and shit. You really want to just take that away from them and give them, like, thing that says you're not supposed to be female? Thank you all so much for f dying, I guess. This is just subscribe to... Right wing, be, be whatever guy, it's in the description below. Subscribe to him, he's pretty chill. He's also a JPEG. Sit by. Actually, I identify as a .png with a transparent background. But feel free to get my pronouns as wrong as you want, because only whiny babies who've never had any real problems in their lives care about that shit. And thanks to Bill Connor for asking me if I wanted to do this. You're actually doing me a huge favor. Also, sorry it took so long to put together. To all my subs, or anyone who happens to be watching this video, be sure to check out Connor's Conquest. Whenever I discover the world of shitposting, he was the first channel I found. So it's kind of appropriate my first collab is with him.